This video will show you how to interpret the patent quality and value analytics in due diligence. The summary in the quality and value section indicates the number and proportion of high value patent applications. By our definition, patents at the top 25% of the quality or value rankings are considered high quality or high value patents. These patents are more likely to be monetized through commercialization, litigation, or transactions. The first chart shows the relationship between family size and patent value for patent families in the portfolio. The patent families on the upper right area are of greater family size and patent value ranking. You can select the family size according to the number of patent applications or countries covered. In the second chart, patents high in quality and value have a higher likelihood of being practiced and a lower likelihood of being invalidated. They are considered the ideal patent assets. The third chart compares the quality or value ranking of the portfolio with the portfolio of the top owner in its relevant technology field. You can choose a technical field from the drop-down list. By comparing the proportions of patents with a value rank of, A, or above, we can learn if the patent holder owns a larger proportion of high-value patents than the overall patents under the same technical field. You can click on the arrow button to select other patent owners for comparison. To compare the proportions of high-quality patents, simply click on the Quality button above the bar chart. Let's move on to the Quality Highlights page. The summary section presents the number of low-quality patent families and the number of U.S. patents with potential quality issues. The following chart highlights the number of patent families, whose family members have been abandoned or revoked in some patent offices. You can click on the bar to find out more about these patents. The second chart shows U.S. patents found to have, eligibility, novelty, non-obviousness, or indefiniteness issues in their prosecution in PTAB history. Let's take a look at the last tab, Value Highlights. The first chart shows the top 10 potential targets based on the number of patent family referencing patents in this portfolio. Each bar is categorized by patent family size. To unselect companies, click on the gear, icon, to open the menu. The table shows the top 10 potential targets, the ultimate parent company, if applicable, and each target's patent filings over the years. The last chart highlights the patent families that may be used against the potential targets. The top 10 potential targets citing the patent portfolio the most, are on the right, and the most cited patent families, are on the left. You can sort potential targets by the most cited patent families in this portfolio, by clicking on Family ID. Thanks for watching this due diligence tutorial video.